From Skywatch 7 tonight, here's a live look from downtown Buffalo. Not too much snow to talk about here in the Queen City or up in the North Towns, but that's not the case along the southern tier. Check out this postcard picture a viewer sent us from Chautauqua County. Penny Benson shared this snapshot of the snow piling up in Ellington earlier today. You can share your weather pictures with us by liking us on Facebook or following us on Twitter. There's also a gallery on our website, or you can email us pics at news at wkbw.com. Seven First Alert senior meteorologist Mike Randall is outside now tracking snow totals. Mike, is there any chance that snow's on the way tonight? Well, we have a few leftover snow showers around. We're going to show you those, but as you mentioned, Jill, here in the downtown area, we got off pretty easy. Uh, not a flake around, maybe a couple on the grass here, but uh, just some cold winds around and some cold temperatures. Take a look at these snow totals, though. Perrysburg picked up a little more than a foot of snow, about a half a foot there in East Otto. Warsaw checked in with five inches of total from this uh, latest lake effect snowstorm. North Boston, about three inches, not even two there in Fredonia, and one one-tenth of an inch of snowfall at the Buffalo Airport. This evening, we're looking at a little bit of leftover lake effect snow right along Lake Ontario shoreline, just kind of a dusting, some widely scattered lake effect snow showers at this hour. That should continue to wind down as well. And through the night now, it should be kind of quiet. We're looking at typical temperatures for this time of year. Westerly winds at 17 miles an hour, 30 degrees right now. Your sunrise time, 742. Lingering snow showers around for tonight, partly sunny on Sunday. And yes, we're getting ready for another warm up. And yes, this really is Christmas week. And yes, we finally hit winter on Monday. We'll talk about that. And of course, we'll check out your seven day forecast coming up in just a bit. Back inside. All right, thanks so much, Mike. Well, not everyone hates the snow. In fact, snow in ski country is always welcome, especially because of the late start this season. Holiday Valley and Ellicottville quickly changed their Facebook cover photo today to showcase all of the natural snow the resort has received. And that's not to mention the man made blizzard leading up to opening day tomorrow. Take a look. And this season marks the latest Holiday Valley has opened since 2001. So this lake effect storm is just what the doctor ordered down in Ellicottville. The man-made snow that we've made is very durable. So we are expecting some warm weather the next few days. So it should make it through there, fingers crossed. Yeah. And uh, we'll be ready for the next cold bout. Well, this year, Holiday Valley ranks number three overall on the East Coast, according to Ski Magazine's annual resort guide. The resort finished ahead of powerhouse places like Whiteface Mountain in the Adirondacks and Killington in Vermont. And here's a look at Holiday Valley's trail map to give you a better idea of what will be open tomorrow. The Yodeler Quad chairlift will be operating, servicing two slopes. Yodeler, which is the most difficult, will be open. We circled that in black here on the map for you. The easy way down, though, will be along the Candy Cane Loop, which we've highlighted in blue. That will take you down Candy Cane along Laurel, Punch Bowl, and Sugar Plum, which takes you back to the Yodeler Lift. The resort will be open from 10 in the morning until 10 at night with a base between 6 and 24 inches. Adult tickets will be $39 for an 8-hour pass. A lot of families excited to be getting back out on the slopes this weekend, but some are already taking advantage of all of this snow. We, went, we found one one family from Orlando here in western New York visiting for the holidays. They got to try out their sleds tonight with some downhill action before the slopes officially open tomorrow. You guys don't know how good you have it here. So uh, are you a frequent skier or sledder or anything? Or? Uh, I used to be years ago. Uh, yeah. played hockey and then uh, did a lot of skiing. So uh, this is quite fun and my uh, kids here are seven and nine and they've never really played the snow before. And this is very, very cold. So I'm happy to go back to 86 degree weather for Christmas, but we're enjoying it while we're here. Well, it won't be in the 80s here in western New York, but we are expecting some 50s later in the week.